Well, how's everybody doing this morning? I just finished tipping in this place here and all these straps here, every single one of them was tying down the load. We have 3, 6, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 straps. 16 straps were on that load. And in order to get the straps off the load, I had to open both sides of the trailer because the, the hooks were down here. So I have some boards that I, this isn't something that I've actually driven down and forgotten. These boards have to go back in. This is a, a, it's not one of our own trailers. It's belonging to a, belonging to a freight company that we do some work for. I just noticed the tire there. See the crack, see the crack on that? What the hell is that there? Uh, that does not look good. That does not look good. I had to raise it up for them there when they were doing, um, I won't spend too much time doing that now because once I start driving, it'll go back down itself. So just to put all these straps back in, this is where the time consuming bit comes in with this, you know? Some lads, when they're finished with a trailer, they'll just leave it in a heap. You know, but that's not fair for the next fella that comes along because someone has to go and load this trailer. And it might very well be me. Someone has to come along and load this trailer. down for part two uh, our next consignment or assignment is a trailer that's going to Carlo follow me up to Carlo and I've just spotted it in front of me here DGM 36 so Let's just go and have a look and see what's in store for me here. It's uh, a machine apparently. And it's going to Carlo. Follow me down to Carlo. So first thing I'll do is have a look around it. I see that the bond cord is on as well, which is going to be another pain in the ass. I don't understand why, why, why people leave these on. There's no need for it to be on, you know. Um, see what's in store here oh lord oh lord oh lord so this is another it's another complete strip out job so the whole lot has to come out now you see this here look every single one of them has to come out all of these strapped all the way along God, they really love me in there, you know that? Um, that's, that's what the load is. And it has to come out through the side. All these straps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten straps on it. Um, I don't understand why they have to strap each of them. You know, the ones in the middle are secured because they're being blocked on both ends. I don't understand why you have to put two straps on this. Put one strap across the middle of that would have been enough. You know, why is there two straps on that? One strap across the middle. See, there's one strap across the middle of that. Why did you have to put two on this? You didn't have to put two on it. 
it's just making extra work for everybody else, you know, and making extra work for me now. Every single one of these all the way along has to come off. I'm going to be at this for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's the rest of the day gone for me now. Sometimes a bit of brute force and ignorance works. So. That's what we have to do. <clears throat> oh Lord. Uh. This is one of the mega trailers. It's the call it. It's the reason that it's a DGM. M stands for mega, and mega means small wheels. They're kind of a high cube trailer. So. Let's reverse into it. I don't believe it, I'm actually too high for it, which is strange. Normally here, the, uh, normally they, the fellas on the port, drop these trailers too low, or too high. But not this time. It's a fair load in it as well. Right. So what I'd normally do is I'd put up the air in the back of the unit and that makes it easier then for me to, you'll see what I mean when I get out. Another thing I do is when I'm, when I'm picking up a trailer like this, um, I switch the, the truck off. And the reason for that is because I don't want to be, I don't want to be inhaling carbon monoxide fumes. And now you see with the, the, the legs here, look, the landing legs there are up off the ground, which makes it a lot easier for me to wind up the legs. So. You have to make sure when you're winding up legs that you wind them up the whole way because if you don't and you get stopped at an RSA checkpoint they will fine you for they will fine you for every turn that they're not wound up. Now the next thing is the airlines. These are the airlines here. These things here they're, they're called palm couplings. Most of 90% of European trailers have got palm couplings. They don't have these, they're palm couplings. So that's what I'm putting on here. Let's put on the, for the, the air Susie's first. These these get all they all get mixed up, you know, they get. This electric one. It's the ABS. This guy reversing in beside me there, one of Virginia's. Now. So, oi. One, one either side of me. That beeping noise you can hear is the reversing sensor, beeper, whatever you call it. And I put on my number plate. Actually on this trailer, there is a place for your number plate on this trailer, but some of them, they don't have them. So lads just put them in there, whatever. So 
So all it takes now, we have to, I, I didn't turn on the airlines there because what I want to do first is uh, I want to reverse back. I want to reverse back and make sure that it's locked in. Now, hear that clunk? You just pull it forward to make sure it's locked in. Turn on your air then. So, what should happen here now with this, this is very low here, you can see the way it's all low at the back. When the air gets into that now, that should rise it up. It should rise it up. I'm just going to give it a quick lift. You can see the way the mud guard, this mud guard is worn away from rubbing on the on the tire. Now, I just want to see is there anything left in this is the, this this box here is a is a document box. Now, sometimes they leave that sometimes they leave the paperwork in there, but there's no paperwork in that. Or is there? Hold on, there is, there is, there is. Okay, um, eight pallets. Okay, we're going to Bagnallstown and Carlo. Just have to make sure that that's locked properly and secured. So, there's our CMR now. Anyway, we have we have our empty steel cages. PB Machine Tech. Right. Oh. Yeah. Gloves off. These, these, look at this livestock trailer here now. HC livestock, right? Look at that. You could eat your dinner. You could eat your dinner off that. They are always immaculate. Look at the shine off it. And even the truck. That's a 12 reg truck. It's a six year old Volvo. And it's absolutely spotless. Serious credit to that company now. The stuff is always immaculate. This is where we are. First of all, we have to do before we do anything else, we have to take this this bloody bond cord off, which shouldn't have been on in the first place. There's no need to have that thing on, you know. It's only machinery in the back of that. It's not anything of any value. It's, 
empty cages. No point at all putting it on. Gloves are a great idea, but when you're trying to deal with, with cords and anything thin, they're a fucking nuisance. If you ever wondered who Shinna Will is, that's him over there. Aiden Keenan by. See? This is the nonsense now that goes on with this. Look. I might get away with only opening one side. Might get away with only opening one side. It's got those silly straps, silly, what they call on them as well. So this is what I have to do now. All of these have to come out. Ay, 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 ay. Now, I don't know how to loosen this. That's the wrong way. Maybe that's the way. Is that the way? <sighs> ah, 
that's not going to come out. I haven't a clue. I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue how that, how that works. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a fucking clue how that works. Don't mind driving over them, you're all right. Bah? Camera, GoPro, GoPro. No, not all the time. Sometimes, if I get a job like this. Can you drive or you... Well, sometimes drive, yeah, but more, more for this because it's... Something happened or... Yeah, yeah, I have it at the front, yeah, but all the trucks have cameras anyway. No, okay, yeah. Not my camera, this is my camera, but there's, there's cameras in the truck. Uh, that you with, uh, with the GoPro. GoPro, yeah. It's a chest harness. It means that you're not holding the camera in your hand, you know. And a good idea, well, you know. Even on your truck, you know, like two kids, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex exactly. <laughs> Oi. See what I'm doing here with this. Just feeding it down the side there because he's gonna take them all from, from the edge here, which is great. It means I don't have to open both sides of the trailer. So. Okay, that's still... <sighs> Aye! So I'm too old for this now, you know? I'm too old for this, too old.
Yeah, it's good forks. Yeah, you have to, you have it there, it's, yeah. Uh, it's just a timber, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. No, you're doing good. Yeah, it's good. You can drop down, yeah. Yeah, good. I still haven't figured out this. How does this work? Oh. Oh, great. Super, super. Yeah, down, yeah. Well, that's one door closed. And what, what do you send out to Germany in these car parts, is it? Or? Uh, hydraulic ramps. All oh, right, and then they just save them up until there's a full load yeah, and yeah. send them back. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Must be a food company in there next door to you, is there? Um, beer. Harris Beer. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're booming as well. They're selling all over the world. Is it, is it a Latvian truck there? Is it Lithuanian or Latvian or something? We're getting an awful lot of Romanian. Are you? Buying an awful lot of steel in Romania. Just really? It takes them a week to come up and then they get unloaded here. They'll be rushing unloaded. Then they come up and stay on the road for a week. Wait for a week. Let's take a ride Just you and I Somewhere we've never been We'll get up and rise we'll Loosen the ties That's all we've been holding in but Right now I'm gone But I'll be back again Right now I'm gone But I'll be back again I'll be back again before too long We can sit a while and I'll sing some song About where we're going, not where we've been We can do it all when I'm back again
Let's take a ride Just you and I Somewhere we can have some peace We'll get up and go The peace will come slow So much that we'll never leave But Right now I'm gone But I'll be back again Right now I'm gone But I'll be back again I'll be back again before too long We can sit a while and I'll sing some songs About where we're going, not where we've been We can do it all and I'm back again Let's stay for a while Just you and I Somewhere we can call our own Sit by the shore No needs anymore Give in to the great unknown Oh, but right now I'm gone But I'll be back again Right now I'm gone, gone, gone Oh, but I'll be back again And I'll be back again before too long We can sit a while and I'll sing some songs About where we're going, not where we've been We can do it all and I'm back again All of, these, all, and I'm back all of again. these straps, all of these, all, all of these straps that you see here, have to be rolled up neatly and stacked down there. All of these, this basically the mess that's left in here now has to be tidied up, and the trailer left so it can be loaded. That's the way it works. No. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Every word I said to you is true It's 
Oh, look at the serum for me and all of So. I'm not sure how many pallets we have here, but it'll probably be about 14 or, 14 or 15. Anyway, it usually is. Let's take off these gloves. They're nearly as dirty on the inside as they are on the outside at this stage. Yeah, my, my windscreens full of them. Yeah. Didn't take them long to cop onto the heat, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Some of these pallets are a little bit, some of these pallets are, are 
are are are wide. You can't always get you can't always get them side by side. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. About yeah. Th about three million about three million views. I'm famous, except I'm not rich. <laughs> no, I work for the revenue. <laughs> I'm a joke. Joke. Oh, it's nice to see a bit of. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, very hard to fit. Walking 39. Yeah. It is, especially when they're all different sizes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, lovely. No, just push them on over, over onto that side. Three pallets, yeah. What? Oh yeah, plenty of room there, yeah. Loads of room there. Getting busy again, are you? I'll take one, yep. That's it. 
Yep. These are a nuisance. Huh? No box. No, no, no box here. Yeah, other normally. No, I mean, there's a box, yeah. Oh, there is a box. Yeah, so you can the box. Yeah. That's exactly what I'll do. Yeah. Leave it easy for the next one. Sorry, yeah. One second. All right, cheers. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Go on now. Go on. Yeah, you're all right. That's it. Good man. Thanks a million. Cheers. That's great. Now, all nice and neat. Oh, for once. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Done and dusted. Three fire brigades and a fire tender. Motorcycle cop. He's probably just come from um, the nearest Topaz garage. I say he was in there having his donuts and his tea. And I'd say he didn't finish his tea one bit early to come out and do this because they're never on the M50 unless they're escorting some dignitary is the only time you'll see them.